I'm Leslie Lamb, speaker and writer for Lead Her Ministries. This is our first time together and I am really excited. Today's topic is fear. Any number of things can frighten us. A man running at us in a ski mask holding a saw? Well, maybe temporarily, while we're clutching our beloved's arm and grasping a handful of popcorn. More likely our fear comes in other things. Getting in a car crash, or our child or loved one is diagnosed with a terminal illness. The words divorce. Sometimes we are scared by less tangible things. The fear of the unknown, the fear of the past, the fear of the future. First John 4.18 says, such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced His perfect love. Fear comes from lack of trust. I fear the snake because I don't trust it not to bite me. I fear the height because I don't trust it not to break every bone in my body. And I fear breaking my bones because, well, I've been hurt before. It's not nice. And it's really hard to trust what we don't know, isn't it? Can I be transparent for a moment? You know, our fears are not all the same. Some things that scare me don't scare you, and some things that scare you wouldn't scare me. Our strengths and our weaknesses differ, and God created us that way. It's meant to be for our good and not for our harm. See, the woods might not seem like a very intimidating place for many of you. My husband's a runner. The woods certainly don't seem intimidating to him. Matter of fact, if he comes home with thorns and scratches, he considers it a good run. Whereas I'm looking for band-aids and antibiotic cream to try to help him out. But the woods scare me. It's not comfortable to me. I don't like what surrounds me. And I try to get through it and try to make the most of it. And that's usually where God has to meet me, in that irrationality. Because where it might seem irrational to others, it's very real to me. I don't like the woods. I had this dilemma most recently. I was extremely fearful for my future because I had seriously messed up and been hurt in my past. I just knew that I would suffer that pain again. I just knew that when I least expected it, the worst would happen. But that's when God said, wait, my child, I love you. So what, right? We've been hurt by people who love us, been betrayed and crushed by those who say they loved us most. But then he said, but I love you perfectly. Do you hear the difference in that? Perfect love expels all fear not just any love. And we don't know what perfect love is because on this earth, we will never experience it. But he offers us perfect love and that perfect love will not let us go. That perfect love will not hurt us. That perfect love will not let us down, lie to us or abandon us. That is his promise, perfect love. The Apostle Paul talked about perfect love too. He acknowledged it as love that always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And when we get that, when we really get that, that His love is perfect and that everything that He does and wishes for us comes out of that perfect love, well then, there's nothing to fear. <laughs>